Welcome back for another video. It is, uh, it's not Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> it is the Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I'm about 40 hours in. I've been playing it quite a bit, actually. Um, I played it for a while before uh, I eventually quit Raid. And then obviously I've been away uh, on holiday and I've played it a little bit since I've been back. I, I got back last Sunday. Um, and, you know, this is probably, I'll make a few videos on Baldur's Gate 3. Hopefully you guys uh, will be interested in it. So this is my very first playthrough. Uh, so yeah, like 40 hours in, um, somewhere between, I don't know, halfway through, how do I go to what I'm trying to show? There we go. Halfway through Act 2, I think. So I've kind of gone into uh, whatever it's called, the gauntlet of Shah uh, and done most of that and then I kind of had to backtrack and now I'm going to go down to Moonrise Towers and deal with this part of the map. But I've done quite a lot up here, done quite a lot of the Last Light Inn uh, section, a little bit of exploration to go back there and there's something around here that I need to go back and do as well. So I'd say at least halfway through Act 2, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, in in the Gauntlet of Shah, I got to the point where it was saying if I proceed further, then I might lose access to some of the quests. So I'm going back to, to kind of finish what I did. Um, and the way I've approached this so far, this is on tactician mode. Let me just jump over to the camp quickly. Is I'm using all of the characters in their kind of base form. So I've just been using them as they come. So Astarian is a rogue, whatever his default uh, subclass is. I'm not doing multi-classing. Uh, so Shadowheart's a cleric, etc. Gale's a wizard. And predominantly I've been using my own avatar, Ehamad, obviously, uh, as a paladin. Uh, and then predominantly I've been running Will, Shadowheart, and Astarian. Um, and this is kind of... It's two things. One, I'm taking the game uh, sort of as it comes. I'm trying not to look at too many guides or or kind of read up uh, on what I'm doing. I'm just sort of not rushing through, kind of playing it and and enjoying you know whatever it has to to offer. Give myself that tactical challenge by playing it on tactician uh, to really try and learn the game mechanics. And then ultimately I want to do a, an honor run through where I'll probably allow myself to multi-class to use respects. I haven't like respect anyone, uh, and I've not been following any build guides. I've just kind of been making it up as I go along. And equally, the other thing I've been avoiding using really is I've not really bought anything from vendors and I've not really been using consumables much. I've used a couple of elixirs here and there when I've really, really felt the need to do so. So actually, I just used uh, my second ever elixir of vigilance because um, I couldn't find a way <laughs> of dealing with uh, with a particular encounter without having that vigilance um, available. Uh, and then, you know, I've not really, I've not been using any of the, like, uh, what do you call it? Oils either. Mm. And not really been using any scrolls. So I think when I eventually do the honor run through, there's quite a lot of power creep that I have available that I haven't, you know, allowed myself to use this time. Uh, you know, it's just the way it's, I, I'm air mapping it basically, aren't I? So I'm trying to make it as free to play as I can, even though it's a, it's not a game that has that kind of mechanic. So I'm viewing the, the scrolls and the oils as like pay to win. <laughs> so I make it harder for myself by not using them, uh, basically. And, um, similarly kind of using the respects on these champions, uh, kind of felt like maybe I'd be diverging from the authentic experience that that Larian uh, Studios, or Larian, depending on your pronunciation, had in mind for me. So <laughs> I don't know; it's a bit odd, right? Um, but that's kind of that's kind of where we are with it. 
Um, and yeah, very much my intent is to kind of do a bunch of videos based around an honor playthrough. I think that would be quite interesting. I'll probably predominantly focus on the combat side of things. Let's, uh, let's just go through here. I need to uh, somehow get down to there. The absolute army is kept here. Do not press my luck. Okay, interesting. I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. Um, the absolute army is down there. I don't think I can even get this way anyway. I think I'm stuck up here. I did want to go there. I can't. Anyway, um, so I think it would probably be more interesting when I do the second playthrough because then I kind of have a, an idea of what's going on. And I think that will make more compelling viewing than me doing any kind of videos based around me doing my first playthrough where, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. And I'm just sort of playing the game casually, enjoying it, not really stressing about trying to make content at the same time. Uh, I think that's probably the way I want to do it. But, you know, if it's something that you think you'd be interested in seeing um, me play my my first playthrough, you know, some parts of it uh, particularly, probably really the combat more than anything else. So when I think I do the honor mode, what my kind of intention to do is I'll just sort of be background recording the whole thing. And then when we hit each combat stage, uh, if I have any preparation that I'm doing beforehand, I'll then talk through how I'm approaching the given encounter and then kind of show the encounter and kind of take it from there. I think it's quite difficult to play a narrative story driven game like this for the first time uh, whilst also making videos because I kind of want to actually pay attention to what's happening in the game and not really be talking too much <laughs> during it and and just actually enjoy enjoy the game for what it is. I'm trying to get down this way to find the ledger. So yeah, basically I just wanted to make this quick video to say I'm to I'm back <laughs> from my trip. Uh, I have zero intent to play Raid right now. Doing just, the other way just not interested at all, and I've I've seen kind of some of the some of the issues uh, whilst I've been gone, and it just seems like it's just chaos, <laughs> to be honest, uh, just absolute chaos. Like there's so many, uh, you know, they're just like farming farming L's is the uh, phrase, isn't it? And I just I just don't have interest to be to get involved in it at all. So I don't think I will. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> simple as that. Uh, I wonder if there's any. Uh, look, if we go hit shift. We can see there's definitely some, probably some enemies in here. I don't know. Is that an enemy? Because it looks like I can speak to him, but you never really know. Interesting. Is this something I'm going to end up having to fight? All right, let's just save it. Hide. Ungroup. Let's be on my way. How much I'll walk in with go? my my main avatar and find out what's what the deal is. One day I'll get there. One day. Isn't it obvious? I'm a I stand on a stage, pretending. If you say so. I was performing, and then the lights went out. I'm waiting for the curtain call. Oh, you'll be waiting a while there, buddy. <laughs> what is going on? Look, it's Jabba the Hutt. Drink! Go back down where you whistle! Tell you story. Okay. Son of Thorn! Son of Sword Coast! If you say so. Go on! Kill! Bottom So I've been trying to roleplay as a paladin, so I do kill or attack everything that I, uh, view that I, I should be killing. 
And I don't know if I really want to pick up the tank and, and drink it or not here. Let's just quickly quick save and, uh, and find out. Because I'm curious to try it. skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. Go on, drink. Make it drink. Be drunk. You and I both. To our good health. Hmm. What should I go for? I think I don't think we want to be drinking this. So I think I'm gonna refuse to drink. That'll probably make him angry. So I think we're gonna be having a fight right now. Expect anything. He's been right cast then. to the hells and back. So we've got one, two, three, four ads and Thorm himself. Can't do any direct damage. And can't do any thunder. Okay. Interesting. Boring belch. Interesting. Okay, and then let's have a look at these ones. Poison, neurotic. Okay, the ads are pretty straightforward. I will probably end up wanting to go for magic weapon, I reckon, for when I end up attacking Orm. Um, it does require concentration. It's a level two spell. It's an action. That's annoying. Okay, we'll ignore it for the time being. Let's open up with Hunter's Mark on this actor. And then I'm going to just do a straight weapon attack. Potentially, I'll use Divine Smite. I kind of want to get this. I'm all getting killed pretty fast. And we'll just follow up with a second. Didn't quite kill him, annoyingly. Okay, now the next one. Let's try and make sure we can sneak around. I don't quite know why they have a visibility coming through. That. There's their window there. Oh, that's quite good. Okay. Someone is up there. And where is the rest of them? There's one. Where? I can't see any others. All right, one is there. One's there. Okay, one's there as well. I don't really need to worry about the ones that are high up. Maybe I can try and take down that one. So if we sort of walk in here. Can we can't quite reach? Get to about there. And probably get up to there. And should be able to go in for that. Then with Shadow Heart, we'll just jump over here. Gale will also jump over. Why is he? Okay. I don't know why that had a, a check because I thought I was out of it. I should have just walked around. <laughs> it was a risk I didn't need to take. I think. With Shadow Heart, I probably want to try and kill the blighted actor that's there. 
and then maybe with Gale, we'll try and take down him. I kind of want to slow down this person, but incapacitation looks like that ain't gonna, I won't be able to banish him or anything like that, but I don't see why I can't slow him. I kind of want him to go for my tank. Why am I doing this? So let's come in with Gale. That Blighted Troubler has to go all the way down here and then all the way down. So I've got a bit of time and that other one has to come there. So I wouldn't mind like a, either a web or using Sleet Storm to create an area of ice that will slow down all of these uh, mobs so I can kind of fight them from afar. Something like that. It's quite expensive as a rank 3 spell. I don't think there's anything else I really want to use on rank 3. So it's probably going to be worth it. So if I kind of just get it about there. Yeah, something like that. There we go. And then finally, can we get a kill? That's the question. I don't think we do enough damage. Because uh, 15 health is a decent amount. So I think I'll go Sacred Flame, which is 10. And then I will get myself a extra weapon. Uh, we'll go for the great sword, and the sword should should get the kill. Fortunately, enough initiative to get in between. So that's Shadowheart done. Got no more abilities there. I do have a uh, bonus action, so I'll rehide. That's a rough tempest. I will you done. Interesting enough. Does that count as a? Is it just a bonus action? No, it's an action. I I seem to have another action with um, Gale. I haven't really used Gale much. I've literally had to bring him in <laughs> at this point because there were a few fights I was finding that were just too hard. So I quite like to get uh, to do something with that. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if there's anything better I can do. I don't think so. There's no particular resistance or anything. I th think I'll go for Ray of Frost then, unless anything else has a higher chance. I don't think it does. So we'll just do that. What does that mean? Okay, it does. <laughs> it does something to his uh, special brew. I don't know what I see regurgitation it is, but maybe it was a bad idea. Anyway, let's just get the distance between me and Gale. Alright, hopefully we'll get the kill with the weapon. And then I kind of want this weapon to stand in between. Now all of these will start their movement. fell over. So, probably now go for the magic weapon. Although that means I can't reuse Hunter's Mark, which is really annoying. Hmm. Let's just put the Hunter's Mark on 
and we'll go with a ranged attack. And we get a second ranged attack. Okay. Go for the throat. I did that one. I thought it was going to have to run down there, but it's it's been smart enough to come a different way. Now, how do I? Hmm. I don't need to uh, need to attack him. Okay, that should work. Uh, which should be fine. Anything else I need to do? I don't think so. And then it should ask me for sneak attack. It didn't. It's annoying. I'll do okay, I'll re -hide. No, it's clearly spotted. So let's. I don't really want to get attacked here. Time to let's go over to there. Unleash me. And what's Gail going to go for? Can we get him slowed? Or do? Let's sort of give myself slight high ground there for when they get down. Um, what's left? Probably were just trying to get the kill on Armin. And what's Sacred Flake looking like? That's actually decent at 80%. Let's go for you. Oh, that's annoying. One one health left. <laughs> that is kind of annoying. And do we have any decent bonus actions? Not really. I kind of feel like this is the one thing. The one thing um I need to find on Shadow Art is a reasonable bonus action to take. Most of the time I'm not really using it. Right then can we go there? He's, he's a immune. Unless there's a way of breaking this immunity, it's kind of pointless. Ah, curious. Not really sure what to do there. Maybe I'll take the weapon over here to protect the star in. Okay then. I can probably go kill you. May the gods take you first. And let's go. Rank one. Should get a kill. Oh my god, come on. Yeah, well, that didn't do too much. Can I get the kill? Is there any way I can get to that allows me to stealth up? Not really. Why is it brightly lit anyway? I guess there's plenty of. Right, so there's no way I can do that. Neither of those are going to do a lot. Hamstring, maybe. Maybe we'll do a hamstring. You are saved anyway. So.
we dash somewhere, or if we jump. Where is jump anyway? There we go, jump. Then we are ready to be stealthy next time. I think we want to do something relatively AoE. But we could actually take down you and then two on you, but that's not got long enough range. Um, I don't want to melt the ice, so we won't go for anything fire based. I think he was immune to thunder, wasn't he? Yep. So I kind of feel like the best thing is just to go for the cold again. With glee. But maybe on you. Glack. To get a little bit of slowness there and then just move him back. And then with Shadow Heart. So that's the problem with actually using Shards Aegis. I don't normally use it. It's I can't then use Bless, which is uh, the main thing that I like to do. Um, I don't really know how much Thorm's going to do, to be honest. But we'll, we'll soon find out. Let's try and get the Radiant. So they all do different things. Rotten reflux. Okay. I'm wondering if I should be heading for the stairs, actually. For the simple reason we could then kind of run away from him. Get up the stairs and try and pepper him with a range attack. Okay, can we get anywhere to attack? Nope. Go and bend that off. <laughs> So let's get the kill, which annoyingly is going to be two hits. Then should have. I oh know we still have Hunter's Mark over on him. So I'll also head up for the stairs. I can't get because uh, let's go for a shove. That allow me to kind of run up to here. At the ready. Then with Astarian, I think we go. Should we, can we hide on the cusp? Let's go like that. Hide and there. Get the hit there. Then, interestingly enough, we could have come in up here, through here, and then probably just surprised attacked, rather than going and having the conversation. So I'm probably going to end up using a Misty Step to get back up there. I don't think the boss is going to come for me, so I should be okay to end it. Similarly, I do have Misty Step with Gale. Just need to find a way of actually doing damage to Thorm. Which is a bit of a concern, if I'm honest. Um, what well, my cantrips are available. Force damage. 
I think Ray of Frost again. Maybe click heals. See how far we can get. Get up to about there. Just next to him there. My faith will protect me. So we've got three of them on one, two on one HP. Three on one HP. How unlucky is that? That is pretty unlucky. I wish there was an obvious way of doing more damage to him. I think with with my paladin, I have to go for magic weapon. That should then give me hope. Could go fairy fire. Attack rolls against them will have advantage, which I kind of need, because I think it's got quite high armor. Glass. Another option I have is Spirit Guardians for a bit more spirit damage, radiant damage. Um, what else? Kind of it. I actually can do this. Ah, path of interrupted targets too far away. That's annoying. What if I move to about there? Can I is there any part that isn't interrupted? Yep. Yep, and yep. There we go, got three of the kills. <laughs> and now I can continue my my runaway. Got as far as that. And with the weapon, I'll go down to fend him off with you. I'm gonna go get my magic weapon going. That's kind of it. I don't have enough movement anyway, but I'd like to know what the score is. Probably position myself about here. So the boss should go to the weapon first. Can you feel death's cold grip? Right. Oh, how far can I get? Get to Misty Step to about there. And then we should have something. I don't want to slow him down again. I don't know if Grease is going to work, though, to be honest. Is there anything else that's kind of useful? Not really. None of that stuff works. That's not going to work. Visibility is not going to help. Probably Firebolt is probably the best bet at this point. Which is a 55%. I'm wondering if I go True Strike. Could probably be the best bet. Or just create an area of grease to try and slow him down once he gets. Past the ice, and then continue our runaway. <laughs> the witching hour. All right then. Probably another ice. Which bolt? We'll just go with the ice. Blackier. And then we'll run. Up Don't here as well. Close. Let's finish this. And then 
with Shadow Heart. And I just get that kill. Nope. So, do we want to do anything better? Is there any more interesting option available? I don't think so. Do that. Onward. And move up as well. Doesn't do anything anyway. Can I just get the kill? I don't want to use my one of that, so that's that one dead. Then I kind of probably want advantage. 85% is not terrible. So anything else that's obvious, not really. I don't want to run up to him yet. So let's just go for the hit and then move back. Immune to the damage. Have I used Gale yet? No, I haven't. So let's go again for that. Then run away. Please, Mistra. I'm a bit worried about whether he can use some ranged attack. Uh, time to push my luck again. I definitely don't want to be all of them next to each other. Can I move a star in at all? Can I haven't used his ability yet. Okay, what are we actually going to do with him? Fireball? I guess it's the only thing that does. Fire damage. And if we move to there and hide ourselves. Like that, that's a star in done. Then Shadow Heart. We still got a ability to use. Gale I'm trapped there, so that's Gale finished with. Alright, so what are we gonna do with Shadow Heart? Sacred Flame. Again, I guess. Not really anything obvious other than that. Maybe we should go for the fairy fire. Just to give me the advantage on hits. Try it. And I kind of want to move over to. On I go. There. Nothing will stand in my way. There. Move a bit further up. Oh, that's a lot of movement. <laughs> I kind of want to be back over here. Sleet storm's no longer helping. Every now and then it shows that I can get the hit off, but I don't see how. Way, way away. Can't move at all. Never mind. Right then. Let's see if we can do some decent damage. And we will go in just to make one. That doesn't count as any damage. I thought we had magic weapon going. Do we not? Infuse a weapon with arcane energy, the weapon becomes magical. I guess it doesn't make it do magic damage. Fair enough. Probably can't shove too heavy, yeah. 
All right, let's get the vowel of enmity. To at least get advantage. And well, there's no point doing those. What does piercing damage? That's the problem. All right, so we're going to have to use the old fireball, which we miss. Good work. The subtle approach. We'll just go over to here. We can shoot him in the back. Death is but a word away. And is there any bigger damage we could do? Not obviously. Think yourself, deal an additional each turn by activating it. I think that's fine. And then we kind of run away. Let's light them up. Got to focus. And then with you. You need to do some more damage now. So I'm going to start getting hit hard. So maybe we want Guiding Bolt. To help me get hit on the next one. And which side would I rather be on? Just move to the lair. And we're healthy. So let's end. Let's see what. Oh, we'll go for the opportunity to have things and do anything, though. Where is the bomb going? Ow. That hurt. Well, this uh, weapon ended up kind of being useless. Anyway. Let's go in with a divine smite. Acid regurgitation. Not sure. I don't know. The complete physical damage immunity is really annoying. <laughs> anyway, let's just go with the level two. Oh, God, how'd I miss? Shall we cut and run? Right then. Can we do a fireball? Yes. And then run back here and then hide again. Swords meet sorcery. We activate. That and then kind of is there a range on the, the bolt? I run this way. That seems relatively safe. Ready. And then with you Sacred Flame. It does four damage. And then I'll potentially just give Gale a little heal. Going back that way. Opportunity attack doesn't do anything though. That's a problem. Cannot take much more 
Okay, I can't do anything there anyway. Pretty much out of... Pretty much out of these damages anyway. I don't see any other option, to be honest. Um, divine Favor would have been more useful than Magic Weapon. I never actually used Magic Weapon before. <laughs> I thought I'd give it a go. And the answer is it doesn't do anything worth doing. Astarian. Having two uh, melee damage dealers for this fight is a real a real problem as well. Let's go. To be honest. Time for a new approach. Uh, with Gale, we really need to run away. Um, as far as we can. And click heels. Get over Sorry to now. there. Because he is in a world of pain. Down at 55%. Okay, that's better. Let's go. Pick one. And then get a bit of distance. And potentially use that healing for should. Get both of us. That should have healed Gale. I don't know why it didn't. He was within the. All these opportunity attacks. Ah, uh, now he takes. Proper damage. Okay, so I can't really get any further than that with this stupid weapon. Can I get to him? Another I can. Day, another fight. Should kill him pretty easily here now. Hungry for the slaughter. Okay. Right, we need cunning action dash. We're already hidden, and then we should be in a position to do the sneak attack, ranged, and he's dead. God, that really hurt. Right, let's group up, and we will just go for a short rest, which is a uh, short key Y. And we get what a key, some gold, and some alcohol. Is that it? That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> right, so yeah, that's it. That's basically what I'm thinking, but on honor mode, I'll basically go through the fights. And obviously it's a bit different if you know the fight. Like I think here I wouldn't have brought uh two physical damage dealers. I'd have probably dropped a Starion. Um and just brought another magic dealer, uh, another magic damage dealer, which would have made this considerably easier. Uh, and, you know, if I was using scrolls and stuff, there's probably an oil as well that maybe converts some of the damage. I'm not sure. It takes. I've moved them all to, um, to, to the camp. But I think it would be interesting to go through and see. I'm sure there was a way of converting physical damage to magical. I thought it was magical weapon, but maybe maybe it's something else. Uh, but yeah, like I think that could be relatively interesting. Uh, there was a barrel over there, which could have been used um, as well to do some more magical damage. Um, other barrel there that's not going to be explosive though. I think Sleet Storm was pretty damn good. Maybe could have tried to change the area to be a little bit more uh, down here. I quite liked the fighting from from above. So I think on honor mode, I'd probably come through the door here and try and surprise attack the one up here from behind. Maybe even try and kill him first hit and then use uh, use this area 
to, to kill them down. And that's kind of what I've been doing is as we go through each fight, trying to work out how would I approach it in honor mode. It, obviously, the, the main boss here would have an extra ability as well. Not that I know what that extra ability will be. But anyway, okay, that is that. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, is this something that interests you? Did you enjoy this kind of a video? Uh, the usual thing, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.